beautifuls, what's up? So hopefully you guys are having an amazing Easter slash resurrection day for all you Christians out there. Today we're talking skincare and I'm excited to share these products with you because some of them you've heard of me using and some of them are new and so I wanted to go ahead and give you guys what I've been using because it's definitely been working out for me really, really great, um, better than ever before, honestly, with the new stuff that I've been using and the kind of um, routine that I've got going. And so, yeah, I'm ready to show you guys or unveil all the awesome things I've been using. So first, let's talk cleansers and kind of how I'm doing that process. So, well, removal of makeup, I'm just using random uh, cleansing wipes, like honestly, I'll use any kind of cleansing wipes right now. I think the one that I have is like the Equate, just basic cleansing wipes. Um, I don't even have them with me. I don't even know where they are. Um, but those are the ones that I've been using lately as far as makeup removal. Now, when it comes to cleansers, I've been really, really loving my dual action facial brush which is this right here. It's actually the Ulta brand. It's like $25 at Ulta. And then paired up with my Olay Fresh Effects Shine Shine Go Away Moisturizer. This moisturizer is awesome. If you have not tried this, you need to go pick it up, especially if you are suffering from oily or combination skin. This is definitely a great moisturizer because it does kind of combat the amount of oil on your face. Uh, I've noticed that the amount of oil that I do have over the span of the day has been reduced on, I guess, the continuance of using this all the time. My face, I, I do feel like my face doesn't get as oily as it used to. So that's great. That's the one thing I was really looking for in a cleanser was to make me not get so oily throughout the day. Um, I love this cleanser as well because it's a uh, very silky feeling, even when it's just in its, you know, the the regular form as you pull it out of the tube but also when you lather on your face it is a very silky satiny foam it's not like regular foam and it, and it dry it feels like it's going to dry your face out it's a very unique like foam i don't know what it is and i don't know how to explain it but it definitely isn't your average foamy kind of cleanser it's definitely a more moisturizing cleanser and it's great because it doesn't make your face feel very dry afterwards. So I really, really love this. Um, I've been using this for about a month now and I stopped using my, the Mario Badescu, not this, that's the special <laughs> cucumber stuff. Um, the acne facial cleanser because honestly this works better for me um, with the brush, this works awesome. Now I still use this sometimes, um, if I, because I only use my facial brush once a day. Um, the other time, so like I wash my face two times a day, so in the morning and night, either I'll use the brush in the morning or night, whichever I feel like I want to, and then outside of that, I'll just use the cleanser by itself. So I'll either use my Olay cleanser or I'll use this again. Um, and this, honestly, it's okay, it's very mild, I think that's what it is. Like, it, um, it doesn't work as fast, doesn't clear my face up as fast because I used this for a good two or three weeks and I didn't see any change, honestly. And then um, it doesn't foam up a lot um, as a cleanser, so I didn't really like that either. I think it's, it's so mild that um, it doesn't work as much as I want it to on my face, if that makes sense. So I use this only, you know, sometimes. Not really a lot, though. I'm using my Olay a lot more than I use this anymore. And the Olay one is, is cheaper. It's like six or seven bucks at Walmart, Target, you know, your local drugstores. And this one was like $15. So next, as far as exfoliant, um, you know, scrubs and stuff, I've been using the Acne Solutions Pore Refining Scrub by Burt's Bees. This is awesome. Um, it is a little pricey, it's about $10. I actually got it on sale for $5, and that's why I initially tried it, because I was like, you know, whatever, you know, I'll try it, you know, see how it goes. And this is actually a really, really, really great exfoliator. Like, this is way better than my St. Eyes Apricot Scrub. Like, seriously, way better. Yeah, it is more expensive, but it's definitely worth the $10. I would buy this again for $10, because it's that awesome. With the St. Ives Apricot Scrub, I didn't find that it really gave me, you know, crazy amazing results after using it for years. I mean, I never had a substantial amount of progress with that product. I just always used it because I just always used it. But this one is actually awesome because not only does it actually work, <laughs> but it, its beads are very soft. I mean, not very, very soft, but they're softer than the Apricot Scrub. So like, 
The apricot scrub was kind of rough on your skin and very gritty. While this one is more moisturizing and it's more of a cream plus the beads inside versus it just being very, very gritty like the apricot scrub. So yeah, you're gonna pay more for this one, but this one actually really does work and keeps your face nice and exfoliated and not over dried. Um, this is just, I mean, I love this. This is great. This is really, really awesome. Next for toners, um, I have been loving my special cucumber lotion. This right here is like the best, I mean, my all time favorite out of all of the products that I'm talking about in this video. This is my favorite because it's, it's amazing. It makes your face feel so refreshed. It smells so good. I just love the smell of it. Like it's very, very, like, I don't know, like it's it's so good, I just love it. Um, and I think I talked about this product in my other skincare video, but so you guys have already heard about it, but this is awesome. This is my favorite product by far. I use this day and night, um, or even throughout the day if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I'll just wipe my face with this and I feel like groggy or I feel, you know, my face is just not there. I wipe my face down with this and it makes me feel very, very refreshed. So I love this stuff. We'll be purchasing this again for sure. Next, I'm going to be talking about my spot treatment. Uh, my number one favorite spot treatment at the moment is definitely the Burt's Bees spot treatment, um, acne spot treatment. I don't have it with me here because I lost mine, which sucks because it's $10 for that little bottle, but that little bottle goes a long way. And um, honestly, I'm glad I lost it now because I really don't need it at this point, which is crazy because usually I have at least one blemish here or there. But lately, after I've been using that for a long time and all these other products, I haven't gotten crazy blemishes ever. I mean, I usually consistently have some kind of blemish on my face, you know, multiple. But recently, it's been clear sailing, you know? Like, all I'm really dealing with now is just the dark spots from the scarring and everything like that from past blemishes. So that um, spot treatment is awesome. I used to use that day and night. It's very um, calm, I mean, it's, it's calming. It's not really irritating to the skin. It's all natural. All the Burt's Bees um, face, facial, you know, products are all natural. So that's what I really love about them. And so I don't feel like scared kind of about, you know, putting chemicals, too many chemicals on my face. So I love that stuff. That stuff is the truth. Like that is, oh, uh, that is it. I love that stuff. So that, um, but since I don't have that right now, um, what I was using in conjunction with that was my um, buffering lotion. I think I talked about this again as well in my past uh, skincare video. And I use this every other night uh, for a while. And this is great too. I really, really like this because this is a, this is a good kind of treatment to kind of just keep keep uh, up with the whole blemish thing and it did help kind of clear my blemishes out and uh, keep my face feeling fresh and everything like that so I really like this I this isn't like a must-have product honestly out of the whole bunch I don't really think it is I like it do I say you know go out and buy this out of everything else probably not you probably don't need it I mean as long as you get a good spot treatment you really don't need this but since I did lose my acne spot treatment, the Burt's Bees one, I've been using my tea tree oil again, and um, I like that it just doesn't really work fast enough for me. But it really doesn't help, you know, knock out those blemishes right when they come up like the acne spot treatment does from Burt's Bees. So I really, really like the Burt's Bees one versus the tea tree oil, because it just doesn't work fast enough for me. Some people love the tea tree oil. I think it's still great, but it's not fast enough for me, so I only use it sometimes. When it comes to facial moisturizers, I definitely am in love with, again, Burt's Bees the Acne Solutions Moisturizing Lotion, this right here. And this is really, really awesome too. Um, great moisturizing lotion. It sinks into your skin really, really easy and fast. It's not greasy or anything like that. Um, it has salicylic acid in it and willow bark. So it's, it's acne fighting. And I just love this stuff. Only thing is with this, there's no SPF in it. So I need to go get a facial SPF um, sunscreen so that I can add that to my group of things because especially because it's getting sunny and stuff outside, you know, if you don't wear sunscreen on your face, then your dark spots are going to actually get darker as your skin gets darker, which is something I'm not trying to deal with. So I'm trying to do the opposite of that. So I'm going to go ahead and start finding some kind of sunscreen to kind of just put over my face mix it with this so that I can kind of deal with that as well. Um, you're actually supposed to wear sunscreen on your face all year round. I don't personally, whatever, shoot me. But I'm definitely gonna get it for uh, the spring and summertime because I'm gonna be outside a lot. 
Now, as far as dark spots, that's really my big issue that I'm going to be, you know, working with at this point because my blemishes have really subsided, so I'm not really worried about those anymore. It's definitely just my scarring that I'm trying to get rid of at this point, and one thing that's definitely been helping me get that rid of that is, you know, using my dual cleansing brush because that does, it works as an exfoliant and kind of gets that you know, old dead skin out of there on a daily basis as well as the scrub, but also my PMD has been doing a great job too. I started using that again. I stopped for about a month or so and I started using it again lately for the past few weeks, um, once a week again, only on the areas that I have dark spots and it really does work. I actually really, really love the PMD even though I did a review and everything like that and there's so many people that got it and were able to give reviews but, reviews, but seriously, that's a really, really awesome product. So if you're serious about you know getting rid of those dark spots PMD yeah it, it's a bit, it's a bit steep it's, it's a bit pricey but it really does work to kind of get that dead skin out of there and get those uh, scars and everything to go away quicker but you can still get those scars to go away with you know exfoliating on a daily basis and stuff like that it just won't go as fast as it will with the PMD so I mean all you're missing out on is speed at this point, but you can still do the same thing with just using your exfoliator and you know, if you have a brush instead of your hands, when you do your cleansers every day, little stuff like that will definitely kind of help get the, the skin rejuvenating and renewing on your face and, and getting those dark spots out of there. So, I feel like I was talking like super fast, uh, but yeah, I hope this video isn't too long. I love y'all, uh, shout out to y'all for always supporting me, I don't thank y'all enough. Um, Y'all are the best, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!